Hello you guys! This is a little breakdown of a scene from my recent explainer video. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll leave a link below and also the timestamps for this tutorial. The main challenge was to create an elegant video that would convey the message and clearly explain the benefits of the product without the voiceover, because mainly it'll be played without sound as a support visual during an expo. So it was decided that it will be text-based, meaning we have rather limited room for the graphic elements. In order to squeeze everything we want to squeeze in one scene, we have to be as minimal as possible. This is the next read website. Love this minimal vibe, absolutely my type of aesthetics. The brand uses dark blue, vivid orange and light gray here. So obviously I've chosen these colors as my main ones. I think the combination is simply bombastic. Since this is the opening scene, we have to adjust address the topic here, which is mobility. Next alert is an app that informs about traffic on the road, calculates the fastest and most convenient routes, and does a lot of helpful stuff. The goal was to show three different situations where the app is useful, and it was decided to design three characters. One is taking a bus, another is riding a shared bike, and the last one is driving a car. That way we show that next alert is useful in various situations, no matter which transport you prefer. These were my references for the bus, the bike, the car and people. Since we only had two sentences that describe this idea, this concept, the scene is rather short. Therefore, it was decided to split the screen and show all characters at once, not one by one. Sometimes when a lot of different elements have to be designed in one scene, there is this danger that the scene would become cluttered and just visually illegible. Add to that that we have to keep at least a quarter or even a third of the frame for text and we have a little problem here. Easy solution for that is using a limited color palette and accentuating necessary elements with bright splashes of color. And this is exactly what I did here. Let's see how all this was animated. By the way, give this video a like and if you're into this type of content, consider subscribing. As you see, I used track mats to only reveal the parts of the precoms that I wish to be visible. As for the text, it's a simple text animation. I tweaked position and opacity. This is my go-to method every time I need to animate text. I have a separate tutorial on text animation if you want to watch it. The background slightly moves to the left, giving that illusion that the character actually drives somewhere. Notice there is a tiny yet visible parallax effect when the background moves slower than the foreground. Perhaps I had the most fun animating the girl on a bicycle, though I only animated her hair and legs. As for the legs, it's path animation and it may seem a little tedious, but I only had to set the keyframes for two positions. When the left leg is bent and up, but the right leg is straight, and then vice versa. Then I just copy-pasted the keyframes for the entire scene. And her hair simply rotates while she moves, while she rides. I have a separate tutorial on path animation if you need more details about this technique. I hope you guys liked this little behind the scenes. Let me know in the comments if you wish more videos like this one. I'll see you next time. Bye!